The trucking industry is constantly evolving and so is the technology that we use. To discuss this, I'm joined today by Craig Lee, General Manager of On Highway at Penske Australia, to explore what he's seeing in the market and how operators are harnessing safety technology. Over the decades, you know, trucking has a long history. We've seen quite some significant shifts in the trucking industry regarding safety in particular. What have been some of the most significant changes that you've seen? Well, Emily, you're exactly right. We've seen some huge changes in safety and I think it's important to recognise that there's a very good reason why those safety requirements have come about. If we look back over the years, when we look at trucking, it's not an industry at all that operates within isolation. Like so many other industries, it operates within a broader community. And trucking, I think importantly, has a massive impact to the community, not just with the fact that it's responsible for delivering uh, goods to houses and other businesses, but it operates in, in, an, in a community that is the public roads. So some of the big changes that we've seen in safety, uh, certainly not just with our brands, but I think throughout the business, uh, through the whole business, has been technology driven. So, you know, the, the major things that we've seen are things around um, driver security. So if we think of, of recent enhancements in vehicles such as emergency brake assistance, um, there's lane guard systems, adaptive cruise control and electronic stability control. All of these um, innovations have been very important for both community safety and also the safety of the drivers themselves. How have those changes sort of played in with, with Penske? Within the changes that we've seen, they've had a significant impact in, uh, in the development that we've seen with our OEM partners. Uh, for an example, if we look at a specific segment that Penske plays quite heavily in is the refuse segment uh, with, our, with one of our brands. And it's a great example where it's a segment where we see an enormous amount of trucks working in very close proximity to communities every day. So we've seen fantastic safety involvement or in safety improvements, I should say, in vehicles working in these spaces. Examples are the use of cameras, the use of sensors, um, the use of, you know, of visual aids such as you know, improved uh, window and improved mirror technology such that drivers within these refuse vehicles have a much better vision of the, of the surrounds that they work in. If we think of how a conventional truck, you'll see a driver uh, gets out of the right-hand side of a truck. One of the other safety aspects that we've seen come into refuse vehicles specifically is that now drivers tend to get out on, onto the curb side of the unit. So not only are we focusing on protecting the communities, we're also being very certain that our drivers are the best protected they can be in the way they get in and get out of these units. So some of these technologies that you're speaking about, some people might think that these are technologies that have typically only existed in you know, cars or, or high tech vehicles, but it's in the trucking space too, isn't it? It absolutely is, and it, and it needs to be. Um, I think it's fair to say that not only safety that resides within these uh, trucks has been important, but also driver comfort. When we look at holistically, with uh, driver safety, we need to consider fatigue management. So the ease of operation, the comfort of trucks is very important. Um, when, we, when we consider that drivers are spending extended periods of time away from home, away from their own beds, uh, effectively living in these trucks, some of the development that we've seen over recent years have been the expansion of the space inside these cabs. And we've now got cabs with two metre high clearance so that you can walk right through, um, you know, beds that are much larger, much more comfortable. So as an importer of vehicles, it's very important that we provide our customers with products that allow them not only to be safe, but also to provide a good employment environment for their staff. With such a big focus on safety and supporting your customers and truck drivers, how has Penske's operations changed 
during 2020, you know, with coronavirus and the bushfires and everything, it's been a pretty challenging year for the industry. It's been a really challenging year. Um, Penske is a very diverse organisation in Australia. Uh, we're very heavily involved in trucking, but importantly, we're also a key supplier to other industries. Industries such as mining, uh, critical infrastructure like hospitals. We do an enormous amount of work with the Department of Defence and we also supply large marine customers. Uh, we found this time to be particularly busy as we've worked with all of our businesses and all of our partners to ensure that we've kept these critical tasks and these typical infrastructure projects running. Well, thank you, Craig, for sharing things from Penske's point of view and touching on some really important issues there. Thanks for your time, Emily. Have a great day. Thanks.